Okay, we get together here on Wednesday evenings and talk about the early days of single sideband. A lot of us are on uh, vintage vacuum tube radios. A lot of people come by on hybrids, and sometimes folks come by on modern radios. If you're interested in what we're doing, buy-sell trades are appropriate if they're vintage radio related, and let's keep the buy-sell trades uh, to that because there's plenty of other uh, places to trade your modern radio. If you have a technical problem with a radio you're working on, this is a great place to ask for some advice. Uh, my name is Lynn. I'm in Austin, and I happen to be on a station that dates back to the late 1940s when Collins put their first permeability-tuned oscillator into a box and uh, sold it as a VFO exciter for their big AM rigs of those times. And I used it to uh, excite a Heathkit SB10 single sideband adapter from 1959. And that sideband adapter adapted a Heathkit novice rig, the DX60, from CW to single sideband, puts out about uh, 50 watts. And uh, that 50 watts is now driving the Collins 30L1. You all have heard me compare this station many times to uh, uh, the radio version of a 59 Studebaker. It, uh, it certainly doesn't compare with its competitors in 1959, but it'll get you where you need to go. All right. I'm going to start talking to people. Hey, TXW, George, you're first. K5LYN. Hello, Lynn, and all around the net from WB5TXW for the finest there of amateur radio of the week. So I'm going to do my little recording uh, experiment here. This will take about 10 seconds. People will complain, but some people will complain about anything. All right, up close, up close, one, two, three, four, five. Back a little bit further, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm on the S line, 32S175, S3, 30L1, pretty well pumped up, usual antenna, tuner, sure, 444, and uh, that is it. Over. Very nice, strong signal over here. George, anything else for the net tonight? That's it. WB5TXW back to net. Okay, how about WW9W? Still up there somewhere? How about it? K5LYN. All righty, K5LYN. WW9W. Good evening, Lynn. Good evening to all of the bold ankles. Everybody's got some great signals up here, uh, up my way here. Name is Robert, and we're located in Allen, Texas, just outside of uh, just outside of Plano, a little northeast of Dallas. This evening, Lynn, I'm running the KWM2 with the Shure 444 microphone, and I've got that paired up with the 30L1 Meatball, 30L1 Meatball Collins Amplifier. Uh, looks like I'm peaking about 650, 650 somewhere along in there. And of course, running that into a uh, Ultimax dual band 8040 double bazooka, they call it. That's what's going on here, Lynn. Appreciate you running in that. You and Rush and all the other guys. You guys have a great evening, and I'll be listening to these sweet sounding old boat anchors. Uh, go ahead, Lynn. K5 OYN, WW9W. Okay, Robert, spectacular signal into Austin, and I'm listening to you and all the rest of them on Drake's first receiver, the Drake 1A. Sounding good. All right, how about Gonzalez, OJB? Denver, talk to us. All right, Lynn, this is Denver, N5 OJB in Gonzales, Texas. And uh, I'm running the, tonight, I'm running uh, uh, the, the TS830 and an and, uh, MC50 microphone and driving an old NCL2000 into a, a, a inverted V fan dipole that I built and been using for years. Uh, and I tell you, we was, tell you was talking. We was talking earlier about these old radios. Years ago, if you got on a, ha a, a sideband radio or anything, you, you uh, if you got close enough to understand one another, you was happy. So back to you, Lynn. I want to be happier than that, Denver. I want to like the way I sound when I play Matt's recording. Okay. You sounded good. And your uh, NCL 2000s, one of the most unique radios we have every week, so I'm glad you're here. Over. Well, just hang on. One of these days, I hope to have an NCX3 uh, put behind uh, in front of that. 
They're great radios. I uh, operated one myself. In fact, I've got one waiting for my attention. All right, moving on down the road. Mr. Don, W5DK. How about it, Don? Okay. Don's down the hall, so while we're waiting on Don, let me figure out. I never did get the call right, KE5ZX or something like that. Straighten me out, will you, K5LYN? Yeah, Kilowatt Echo 5, Zulu Sierra. My name's Danny. I'm northeast of San Antonio a little bit. I'm running a Kenwood TS830S, a little Behringer Mic 500, and an Electro Voice. What is I can't never remember. An Electro Voice RE27 into an inverted B about 40 feet. And that's it here. K5LYN, Kilowatt Echo 5, Zulu Sierra. Thank you all for doing the net every week. Yeah, I think I finally got it right. And the name's Dan, D-A-N? Yeah, Roger, Dan, Danny. Very nice signal, Dan. Uh, great to hear you tonight, and uh, we'll look forward to visiting to you again one of these days. All right, uh, how about K5LT? Hey, Lyle, talk to us. Uh, good evening, Lynn, and everyone on the net. This is K5LT. Sounded good tonight. I think I finally got used to the uh, the time change for the net tonight and got in here early, so I'm on the other end of the schedule. So everybody's sounding good tonight. We're running the usual tonight, the Heathkit SB101. And uh, run it through the Heathkit SB221 amplifier, through a Heathkit tuner, and out to a double extended ZEP running through the cedar trees. So everything's good. Life's going good. Warming back up from the cool front. So back to you, Lynn. K5LT. Oh, very nice signal, Lyle. And, hey, thanks for reminding me of something. We go back to standard time uh, this weekend. So I'm just going to throw up the trial balloon of maybe we should think in terms of 6.30 next week, but that's just one thought on my part, and we'll see what the rest of the folks uh, have to say about it. Anything else on your end, Lyle? No, sir, nothing from my end, and, and time really doesn't matter. I just need to know about it because I've been working from home, so I'm good. Back to you, K5LT. Okay, we can see how folks feel about it and play with the idea. All right, I'm going to pick up, uh, let me see if Ta Sa uh, Sammy wants to talk to us. DPP, Sammy, you want to uh, put a word in here? Well, I'll just say good evening, everybody. I don't want to be able to put anchor, but I am listening. See you all later. Everybody have a good night. W5DPP. Okay, great to hear you, Sammy. Let me talk to uh, ADC and KC5L, then I'll give it to Jay. ADC, hey, Rick, tell us about it. K5LYN. K5LYN from WD5ADC. And uh, good evening to everybody on the net. This is Rick down in Harlingen. And uh, I'm on the usual GSB100. And uh, amp tonight is a TL922A. Microphone is a D104, and of course the receiver is a Drake 2B. And uh, same antenna I had last week, inverted V up about 30 feet. Excellent signal. Any new projects in the works on your end? Uh, the project I'm going <laughs> is my Collins amp. I'm going to completely redo it. Okay, that's a 3001, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And uh, uh, fortunately for me, it was the amplifier that was causing distortion and not uh, not the concept. That's kind of weird. I wonder what uh, have you have you nailed it down as what am I what it might have been doing? Well, I'd say the first thing is uh, 55 year old plus uh, caps. Yeah, yeah, they got to go. Uh, I, I know that people have a variety of experience, but I've done really well with Young Kim's uh, update board. I've got it in both my uh, both my 3001s, and so far so good. Yeah, I'm going to give it a try. And, of course, another thing is uh, the uh, tubes uh, mismatch set. That can't be helping anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I, both of mine, I've got the, the match set from RF parts. I think that's where I got them anyway. Good luck with it. Keep us posted on the project, will you? I sure will, Lynn. 7-3, everybody. WD-586. Beautiful signal into Austin. Okay, I said I was going to uh, talk to Tom here and then uh, give it to Jay. So, KC-5L. Hey, Tom, talk to us. Hey, good evening, Lynn, and the Boat Anchors Net. Uh, thanks for picking me up. This is Tom, KC5L in San Antonio. And uh, tonight we are uh, talking on the Central Electronics 200B with the D104 microphone. And that's driving a 600, uh, uh, Central Electronics 600L amplifier. And it's doing about 300 watts into a Johnson KW matchbox. And that's going to a homebrew doublet uh, up about 15 feet. Uh, good signals all around the band this evening. And uh, 
I don't have anything else, so uh, back to you, Lynn, KC5L. Very nicely done, Tom. And by the way, I'll tell you, I got a, an email from Nick who said uh, he'd had one hurricane too many. Uh, he and his wife were going to evacuate to uh, Arkansas, so we probably won't be hearing him tonight. But uh, he's uh, he's weathered the storm down there one too many times this summer. Okay, Mr. J, Camp 5 QS, uh, while you and uh, Rusty are talking, I'm going to switch over to the cheap and easy SSB. Take it away, K5LYN. All righty, Lance, this is uh, Jay, KM5 QS. Uh, wait a minute, that's that's done sound right. My call is KM5 QS, and my name is Jay, so I don't know where I'm not in Japan. So anyway... Um, I'm on a set of Kenwood Twins this evening, the 599 Deltas, and uh, TL922, homebrew tuner, and antenna, feed line, and all that good stuff. Doing uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,484 watts occasionally. Um, I have a phone number here, according to reverse lookup, for the... KF5 LMJ station, and I'll try to call it later to see if they, she was having trouble or if uh, somebody was misusing her call. At any rate, that being said, before I start on the deal, let me make a minor. Uh, I have a couple of pieces here that I don't need, they're excess to my needs. They are trim rings. They're the ABS trim rings for Collins, um, the small Collins cabinets, like the 312B4, uh, B5, the power supply, 516F2, stuff like that. They're the ABS ones. They are new old stock. They're still in the plastic uh, wrappers that they came off the shelves from. They were pulled from the Collins shelves on October the 2nd, 1982. I still have the... Uh, the uh, inventory slip in the bags. I don't need them. Someone out there that's got a uh, trim ring that's kind of screwed up and you need to replace it, just uh, get a hold of me and look me up on my email or I'll give you my phone number, whatever, and, and make me an offer. And uh, they can be yours. Um, so, anyway. I'll uh, well, give my phone number at the end of the net or just look me up on email. That way I won't have to answer the phone. Um, okay, let me see who I've got first here. How about K-A-W-O-Z? Yeah, good evening, Jay, and uh, everybody else on the net. Uh, this is Dan, K-A-W-O-Z, downtown Sanctuary City of Houston. And uh, just run the same thing I usually have, or, well, just about. It's a Kenwood TS-830 with a MC-50 microphone. And I'm driving a homebrew a pair of 572Bs, about 700 watts. The antenna is a, uh, <clears throat> I can never remember the name of that, Ultimax. Uh, Two-band bazooka up here, about 42 feet. And uh, let's see, there was uh, something else. Uh, uh, I forget the name of that fellow. Yeah, uh, he can be 101, but it really yeah. sounds good here. Uh, great audio. If thing is stable, right on frequency, it was a nice sounding rig. Anyway, that's about it. Just uh, thinking about what my next purchase or sale is going to be on junk. Oh, I did. Uh, I found this old B&W 5100 VFO that somebody had cannibalized the transmitter, and I got all the pieces, parts, but uh, VFO looks good, and I think, I've think i been thinking I'm going to make a, uh, a VFO-controlled CW rig transmitter with that thing and uh, have a little fun with it because I'm going to power it up tomorrow and see if it works, but uh, it's got a 3.6 megahertz VFO uh, output and tunable, so I think I could make something out of that. Anyway, uh, that's it from here, Jay. KM5QS, KWOZ. Okay, Dan. Good deal. Sounding great as usual. No problems on this end. Let me see here. Yep, I'm still on frequency. At least, uh, looks like I am. <laughs> um, all right. Did Con found it? I don't remember if... Uh, if Lynn called Denver or not, he either called Denver. Or Don W5DK, did uh, Dan call you yet? Uh, no, I'm ready, DK. 
Okay, go ahead then. All right, evening everybody. It's uh, Whiskey Five Delta Kilo, and name's Don, and I'm in Spring Branch, north of San Antonio. I'm on my trusty old Drake, uh, Drake TR4 that was acting up earlier. Had to do a bunch of switching and stuff. Do you guys bang on these things and make them work sometimes? I was just asking. Anyways, uh, I'm using uh, D104 and pushing that into an L4 amp and going out to actually a double extended zip tonight and it appears to still be working and running low power, obviously. Thanks for running that, everybody. I'll get back to you, JW5DK. Okay, Don. Well, I don't know about banging on it with a hammer because that puts a dent in the case, but uh, sometimes if you just kind of put your fingers under the front end of the rig and lift it about an inch and a half and drop it, you know, sometimes that'll get their attention. You, you never know. Yeah, calculated drop. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, right. Thank you, sir. Um, let me... Let, okay, let's see. K6. No, that's not right. Kilo, Charlie 6. Charlie, November, November. How about you, Gerald? Hey, Jay and everybody on the net. This is Gerald down in Harlingen. Coming to you with the pretty much the same station. Change the microphone to an MC60. The 530FP. Uh, running into a 922A and through my PAL star out to a 600 ohm ladder line or 600 ohm ladder line doublet that I have up at about 40 feet. Coming to you with about 700, 750 watts and um, that's about it. I appreciate uh, checking in and hearing all the nice old radios. Back to you, Jay, KC6 CNN. Okay, Gerald. Good deal. Well, you're sounding great up here. Sounds really nice and smooth, clean. Everything's looking like it's working good. We'll look for you next week or whenever. Uh, okay, uh, have K5YER. Your turn, sir. Oh, okay. K5YER must be around the hall or something. Um, let me see. Let me try this because I heard a voice and it didn't sound exactly like the recording. So let me see if KF5LMJ in the reality, the real person, is trying to check in. We'll give him a chance there. Uh, Sherry, if you're there, come on down. Okay, I didn't think so. Um, K5YER, Dale, are you there? Nope. All right, who have we not missed talk to yet? Uh, so who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? November 0, Golf Victor Kilo. Uh, WB, Winnie. November 5, Sierra Mike. Okay, let me go with uh, November Zero, Gulf Victor Kilo, and then I'll get Sierra Mike. I mean, five Mike. Uh, go ahead, uh, GVR. Okay, this is M0 GVK, November Zero, Gulf Victor Kilo. My name is Kurt. Charlie, Uniform Romeo Tango up in South Central Nebraska. And tonight I'm uh, checking in on a Galaxy 5 Mark II. And I uh, have the external uh, VFO of that and speaker console. I'm sure it's triple four, actually, it's a uh, World Radio Lab SB44, which is the uh, same thing as a Sure triple four. And then uh, that into an off center fed and head up about uh, 25, 30 feet. So uh, everybody's sounding good here. And uh, thanks for letting me check in. This is Andrew GBK. All right, Kurt, you're sounding good down here from Nebraska. That's pretty good. I uh, imagine you're a little chillier up there than we are down here, but uh, that's all right. We don't want to. We don't want to take any of your chili away from you, there, Roger. That's for sure. We were definitely in the low teens here the past couple mornings. Had the old wood stove fired up, but uh, we're supposed to get back up into the 50s and 60s here next week. Okay. Well, good luck with it. <laughs> Hope you're, yeah. 
Uh, stay warm. Stay safe. Thank you, Kurt. All right. Uh, November 5, Sierra Mike, your turn. Uh, yeah, good, day, good evening to everybody aboard here. Uh, this is Ron in Pleasanton, and I'm running an MC-50 into a TSA-30, and I'm sending that over to the TL-922. After that, it leaves and goes up into the Nye Viking tuner, out the ladder line and up to an 80-foot or 80-meter full-size loop up about 30 feet. And that's about it on this end, uh, Jay. Well, sir, you're doing fine down here. Pleasanton, you are approximately 75 miles from me, somewhere in that neighborhood, and it's working just fine. Um, so thank you, sir, for checking in. And that's, uh, that's several on my end there. So, Rusty, why don't you see if you can uh, get a few, and, and then maybe by the time you get done, Lynn will have his stuff going again. KM5 QS2 Whiskey Kilo 5 Romeo. KM5 QS WK5R. Thank you, Jay. Good evening, everybody. Name here is Rusty. We're located up here halfway between Dallas and Tyler, northeast Texas. Running the usual stuff tonight, the Helicraptors HT37. And the Audio Technica microphone driving the Homebrew GS35B amplifier at right around 900 watts to a kilowatt into the inverted B fan, uh, fan dipole at about 50 feet. That's what we're doing. We'll say good evening to Ron down there. And okay. Um, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Five Quebec. Okay, I got two there. WB1E, go ahead, Doug. Okay, good evening, everybody. This is Doug in Bryan, Texas. Come to you on the, the barefoot uh, Swan 500. Uh, band sounds really good. Uh, loading up at about 500 milliamps, so I'm getting about three, yeah, about 300 watts out. So uh, that coming out uh, uh, straight up to a tune inverted V for 75 meters for this frequency. So. Uh, that's the uh, long and the short of it, Rusty. Everybody's sounding great. No lightning crashes, and prayers go back out again to Louisiana. So uh, that's it on this end. So back to net. Okay, Doug. And the uh, Swan 500 sounds good as usual. Okay, appreciate you checking in. Uh, Jim, is that you over there, KE5Q? Yes, sir. Uh, this is Kilo Echo 5 Quebec, uh, Jim and Plano. And uh, copying everybody really good tonight. I'm on the uh, Drake Twins again, the R4B and T4X speed, sure full 44, into that double bazooka Ultimax uh, 8040. And uh, as I said, everybody's just uh, sounding good. The band's great. Uh, appreciate it, there, Rusty. Back to net, KE5Q. Okay, uh, Jim, the uh, Drake Twins sound good, real good. Appreciate you checking in. Who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Kilo 5, Papa Kilo, K5PK, Austin, Texas. Okay, uh, there was two there. The only one I could pull out of there was K5DK. Go ahead. You all right? Good to hear everybody in there for the big dog show. Name here is Steve in Austin. And just running a Drake station, driving three 6JB6s for 300 watts PEP to a 40-meter uh, inset. So, uh... The old traditional barefoot station uh, alive and well here you know, with an uh, sure triple, excuse me, not a triple four, but a 450. Sure 450 desktop microphone. Anyway, good to hear the band uh, nice and perky and everybody's sounding quite good. Uh, back to that, K5PK. All right, uh, Steve, down there in Austin, the uh, Drake station sounds good there. Okay, there was another station that tried to come in at the same time as Steve did. Uh, try it again. KB5 IBU. Oh, go ahead, Leon. Uh, good evening, Rusty, and hello, Jay, and everybody else on the boat, I'm sure as well. The 950 broke, so I'm on 870. I just got it back from Ron. It sounds like I got some more F in it, but uh, uh, I had to learn how to work this thing all over again. And, uh, I ain't got to fix this, so. Anyway, guys, good hearing you on. I got some Okay. I'm backed off the drive on the monitor. So anyway, you might be hearing me, you might not. So y'all take care. See y'all tomorrow. Katie Five, I'm here. 
Alright, I'm hearing you fine there, Leon. About 20 over. I did hear a little bit on the edges, but other than that, uh, I think it's there. Probably just a little tweak in there. Appreciate you checking in. Alright, who else for the Bonacres Unlimited come now? Contact, go ahead. Uh, he's on an 870. Kenwood 870. Uh, Roger, Roger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go ahead. It's your turn, Mike. Okay, Rusty. Thanks for letting me in. Kind of a new station tonight, so I'm not sure how strong I am or how close I am to the proper frequency. But I'm here in Rio Dosa, New Mexico. We got about a foot of snow here about, uh, I guess it was day before yesterday. And then it snowed a little bit more last night. Temperatures have been down below 20 degrees until today. And it warmed up pretty nice today. Everything's melting off. And we've got uh, 50 and 60 degree temperatures and bright sun for the next, oh, I'd say a week. So all the snow is going to be gone pretty quick, maybe by Saturday, maybe by Friday, I don't know. Anyway, tonight I'm on a little different rig. Uh, transmitter is a Central Electronics 100V. And uh, I'm running that into a Gonson GSB-201, the Mark III version of the amplifier. It's got four or two bs in the final. And I'm running that to uh, my Dentron monitor tuner. And that goes out up to a dipole about 50 feet in the pine trees. And the receiver tonight is a Drake 2B. And uh, the uh, microphone is a Shure Triple Four D like Delta. Uh, that's about it from here, Rusty. I hope I'm on frequency. I hope I'm strong enough for you to hear me. I'm only running about 200 plus. Go ahead. Yeah, I heard everything you said there, Mike. You're. Uh you're just slightly up the band, but not enough that I couldn't understand you. The uh, Central Electronics uh, 100B sounds good. And uh, get enough power out of the Gonzo amplifier. Appreciate you checking anything in there, uh, Mike. Anything else for the net? Well, that's it, Rusty. Okay. I uh, appreciate it, Mike. Well, you think I'm in uh, Roger on the foot of snow and it's now melting. <laughs> All right, who else for the Bone Anchors Unlimited come now? Alpha Golf 5, X-Ray, Papa. Okay, I got two there. Uh, the Alpha Golf 5, X-Ray something. <laughs> I didn't write it down, but go ahead. Yeah, this is Kenneth and Brownwood, Alpha Golf 5, X-Ray, Papa. Thanks for putting on the net. Everybody sounding good. Right now, we're going to bring a couple helicopters to the mix. Warming my shack up pretty nice over here. Got a HT32A transmitting on. Got my HT33A amplifier putting that to the antenna and receiving you on my TS530. Back to net. Everybody's sounding good. Okay, the HT32 is working for you there, along with the 33 amplifier. Appreciate you checking in there. All right, uh, I was, I'm not sure whether that was W5XU or W5SU. Whichever one it was, go ahead. Oh, phonetically, uh, without phonetics, they all sound the same as W5 Stomach Ulcer, FU. Sugar United, name is Carl, uh, in Dallas on a uh, TR4C barefoot to a uh, MZ inverted L. Uh, is Len around? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, hey, I appreciate the package. Uh, details later when we won't tie up the net and everybody, but uh, your box is coming back to you, okay? Well, okay, or send me an email about it, whatever. Yeah, uh, you'll get it tomorrow. It'll explain everything. Okay, all right. All right, very good. K5LY, and go ahead and finish up with Rusty there. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, that's all I got. Um, but the uh, band's in good shape. Everybody's good and strong. I'm uh, barefoot about 150 watts, I guess, output from the uh, PR4 seat. Not the one that needed the filter, though, Lynn. W5FU. Okay, Carl. The uh, TR4 sounds good there. And I, <laughs> at first, I couldn't tell if it was you or Dave. <laughs> I don't know which one it was. I right, appreciate you checking in. Who else for the Bone Anchors Unlimited come now? Uh, 
Rusty, did you get uh, Ralph? I uh, did not hear him. In 5 BTM. Go ahead, Ralph. Yeah, uh, Rusty, this is N5 BTM, Ralph and Spring, 30 miles north of the Sanctuary City. Good evening, one and all. Tonight we're running a uh, Heathkit SB100 transceiver, driving a uh, homebrew GS35B, about 800, uh, 900 watts. Trap dipole antenna in the inverted V configuration. Uh, Shure 444 microphone. And that's going through an old Drake MN2700 tuner. So, pretty good signals on the band tonight. And uh, I hope the folks in Louisiana can uh, make it through another one there. Anyway, back to you there, Rusty, N5BTM. All right, Ralph. Appreciate you checking in there. East Kit Station sounds good as usual. All right. Who else for the Bone Anchors Unlimited come now? Stay zero, S-E-D. Go ahead, Steve. Well, good afternoon, good evening, Rusty, and all the boat anchors. K-Zero, SCD, and Rainy Tyler. Well, uh, let's see, what I'm on tonight, 10 wood 520, uh, 30-01, inverted V up about 45 feet, and that's about it from here. Back to you, Rusty. K-Zero, SCD. All right, the Kenwood uh, uh, 30 sounds good there, and appreciate you checking in. Uh, KB-Zero, you on Z, are you around, Perry? He's not there. Anybody else for the Bone Anchors Unlimited come now? Kilo 5XA, Bravo. K5XB, go ahead. The rest of K5XB, Larry uh, near Emory. I'm uh, running on Swan 350A, uh, barefoot with a uh, double bazooka antenna. It's about 30 feet. That's uh, a dipole, straight dipole, over. All right, the uh, Swan sounds good there. Uh, 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 and good evening to you there, my neighbor up there to the northeast. Uh, appreciate you checking in there, and we'll catch you next time. Who else for the Bone Anchors Unlimited come now? We keep have Andy Sierra. Hey, go ahead, Doug. Yeah, good evening, all. Well, thank goodness the storm is uh, east of me. We've had enough through the western part of Louisiana. But, uh... I haven't got a whole lot to say. I'm on the 8.30 tonight driving a uh, uh, solid state amplifier, I have to admit, and a double bazooka antenna up in about 40 foot. So won't hold it. You did a good job. Uh, let me know. Have you five hours. All right. So 8.30 sounds good there, uh, Doug. Appreciate you checking in. and glad you're uh, not getting the brunt of the storm there. We'll catch you next time. Who else for the Bone Anchors Unlimited come now? Recheck. Recheck, go ahead. Hey, Rusty, this is W5DPP. I, I thought I'd throw in a little, uh, little for sale here. I got a, uh, somebody was running one while ago, and I said, hey, heck, I got one of them, I'll try to sell it there. Uh, I've got a uh, Johnson disc, uh, or a Johnson uh, Matchbox, a kilowatt version with the, uh, the remote sensor. I'd like to get 350 for it if anybody needs a good tuner. It'll handle just about anything you can put in it for your boat anchor. You can have a boat anchor radio and a boat anchor to tuner. You can give me a call at 979-820-4814. That's about it. Or you email good old QRZ. All right. Uh, I'm sure everybody heard Sammy's listing there. Anybody need anything else? Yes, not. Who else for the Bone Anchors Unlimited come now? Whiskey Delta 5, Fox Bravo Whiskey. Whiskey Delta 5, Fox Trot Whiskey, I believe it was. Go ahead. Fox Trot Bravo Whiskey, and I'm in Round Rock, and this is my first time to check in the net. Thought I'd say hello. I'm running a uh, Kenwood TS940S barefoot into an in fed halfway antenna up about 30 feet. And good evening to everyone on the net. My name is Rick, Romeo India Charlie Kilo. Over. <laughs> okay, Rick. Well, the 940 doesn't quite uh, qualify as a boat anchor, but it sure weighs like one. <laughs> Appreciate you checking in there. It sounds good anyway. All right. Uh, uh, Lynn, you got the cheap and easy ready? I think so. Does it sound like it? Yeah, it sounds like it. K5LYN. 
Okay, yeah, great net tonight. All right, this is K5LYN returning. Uh, we've had a wide variety of 3870s on the net tonight, and I'm going to contribute my second version of it. Uh, I have switched stations since uh, the last transmission. Uh, this is a transmitter called Cheap and Easy SSB from uh, QST, a homebrew station from the year 1956. And this particular one was uh, built in more recent times by KG7TR, Mike in Arizona, who often checks in here. In fact, I'm going to call him before I uh, take any other check-ins just to see if he's around. Then we'll make a list. Great to hear all the people. In fact, uh, Mike, uh, KG7TR, no, no, KL7CD, Mike, your 100V sounded great. And uh, Kenneth, your Howlcrafter station sounded great. A lot of great signals tonight. KG7TR, hey, Mike, are you out there anywhere by chance? K5LYN. Okay, not tonight. Okay, who else would like to check in? I'm listening. WA5, Edward David X, right? EDX, hey, Byron, talk to us. Hey, Lynn, and everybody else on the net. This is WA5 EDX, Byron, down in, up in beautiful Bluffdale. Uh, let's see, hello, hello. Hello, Cap, hello, Cap. Where's my mic? I hope I'm not overdriving it. Hello. Uh, well, I guess I'm putting out something. Hello. Power's down a little bit on this CS520. It's uh, been on the workbench here all week. I picked it up at uh, Springtown Ham Fest last Saturday. Had a few things wrong with it. I got them worked out and uh, just wanted to see how it sounded tonight. I've got a I'm on barefoot, I'm running it barefoot, uh, talking on the MC50 mic, of course up into the old inverted V. So, got to be a cold and chilly one here uh, in Bluffdale tonight, but the clouds did part uh, early afternoon here, and uh, the sun came out, so it was looking uh, quite nice. Now. So, there is hope, guys, uh, over in East Texas. It, uh, it will get better sooner or later. Uh, so, back to you, Lynn. Uh, everybody stay warm. K5LYN, WA5EDS. Okay, Byron. Hey, it's got beautiful audio. Uh, did you tell us what microphone you're using with it? Uh, yes, I did, the MC50. Okay, yeah, you've done it exactly right. Uh, well, I, I don't know you could do it any better. I, I think it's 100%. Yeah, I think so. Uh, power may be a little low on it. Uh, these are the uh, old finals. That Actually, this is their original S001s, I believe they are, the Japanese version of the uh, 6146B, so uh, they've probably got a little history on it. Well, I'd say you're done. Are you ready to put it back in the case? Uh, well, yeah, I, that'll uh, that'll certainly break it as soon as you put that last screw in. <laughs> no, you do better work than that. <laughs> I hope, from your, your lips to God's ears. Anything else for the net tonight, Byron? Uh, negative, negative, except I, I need to reprimand Larry over there saying he was barefoot. And I know for sure he wasn't because he's blowing, tearing speaker combs over here in Bluffdale with that swan. Yes, he was. Okay. All right. Hey, I forgot to make an announcement when I came on. W5MIX uh, Matt generally records the net. And uh, if you missed his uh, site, you can always Google Boat Anchors Net on uh, YouTube, and a whole bunch of them will come up. That may not be the best way to get there, but it'll get you there. Maybe sort of like a 59 Studebaker once again. Okay, uh, who else for the Boat Anchors tonight? K5LYN calling and listening. Okay. And not everybody has evacuated from New Orleans. Somebody in Louisiana must be on. Or how about Mississippi and Georgia? And how about uh, Missouri? Where are you guys tonight? Talk to us. Well, that might be it, Jay. I guess I'm going to pass it back around to you, and maybe we'll go around the table again. And if you know a better way to cite Matt's uh, site, uh, where the boat anchor recordings can be found, uh, put it to him, because I forgot exactly what it is. Over to you, Jay, K5LYN. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Uh, I don't know. I've got it bookmarked. I just hit the button. <laughs> it goes straight to it. But uh, I would search Boat Anchors Unlimited, and um, 
you see if that helps you go straighter to it. Uh, you know, hopefully it wouldn't be too tough for. Let me, um, let's see. There is a gentleman out there that said he might try to get in the cedar and he doesn't have an amplifier yet. But um, N5 QVF uh, Dario, are you still listening? And see if you can make it. Nope, I didn't hear anything. Anybody else here? No. Okay. Well, he might not have. Uh, he he doesn't have. He said his antenna is not uh, competent or, or something like that. And Dario uh, likes to do things right, so that's probably what's going on. I have to get him an antenna up so he can use that Drake. Um, all right. Anyone else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited that we haven't talked to yet or recheck or whatever? Come now, please. All right. FPT, go ahead, sir. Well, thank you, sir. We appreciate you checking in. It sounds good down here. I got no problem copying you tonight. Let me see. Okay. I'm just looking at, looking around, making sure everything looks right. <laughs> I don't know why I worry about it now. Uh, anyway, thank you, sir, for checking in. Who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited this evening? HSN, Whiskey Zero HSN. Go ahead, sir. Okay, I, th I think you're done. It's kind of faded. I think the band started shifting on us a little bit. I copied most all of that. You're on a 7300 and a 30L1. Uh, so, well, you, you got part of a boat anchor there, so that's, that's close enough. We don't discriminate as long as y'all are interested in what we're doing. Uh, it's uh, that's, that's enough of a reason to check in, so no problem. Come on back. Uh, we love having everybody share the uh, the enjoyment with all these old rigs and stuff. So, thank you, sir. So, uh, let me see. Anyone else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. KG5 LRS. Is that Lima Romeo Sierra? Yes, sir. Kilo Go 5 Lima Romeo Sierra. Uh, my name is Jerry Juliet Echo Romeo Romeo Yankee, and I'm uh, about 40 miles east of uh, Dallas there, a uh, little town called Quinlan, or just outside of Quinlan. 
Anyway, I'm not on a boat anchor. I just wanted to um, jump in here and say good evening to everybody out there. And uh, I sure do like uh, uh, I like jumping up here and uh, and listening to you all there for sure. I wish I had a boat anchor to put on here, but uh, I don't. Not right now, anyway. And actually, right now I'm talking on a uh, Kenwood uh, 570D. Uh, with an inverted uh, antenna up about 45 feet there. That's about all we have. So um, anyway, like I say, I appreciate you for uh, picking me up. And um, and uh, once again, I sure enjoy listening to everybody out there on that boat anchor. <laughs> uh, sure do. Anyway, have a good evening. KG5 LRS. Okay, Jerry. Well, thanks for dropping in, and uh, glad you enjoy it. Uh, and if you uh, ever decide you want to pick one up, there's a number of people on this frequency that could probably help you out. So all you have to do is just uh, make a request, and I'm sure somebody could could uh, could fix you up. <laughs> I don't have any spare ones right now, but um, uh, there's a couple of fellas out there that probably have more than they can handle. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming by. Contact. Yeah, I know old Rusty in there. He's uh, uh, he's about five miles, um, I guess something like five miles across the uh, the woods there uh, from my house. And uh, I'll have to go up there and uh, see if he's got any old boat anchors laying around that he wants to get rid of. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a great evening and uh, keep up the good work. Uh, doing a great job on net control for sure. And KG5 LRS. Okay. Okay, Jerry. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was going to ask you. I, I, I imagine you can hear him pretty good, Rusty, can't you? Oh, yeah. I was going to see if I could be sent his front end, too. <laughs> good evening, J.C. Good evening time, Rusty. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. Okay. All righty. Good deal. We're uh, not doing too bad tonight. That's 33 so far. Uh, who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Well, I shouldn't have bragged on how well we're doing, so I'm going to take the easy way out and say WK5R, it's KM5QS, your turn. KM5QS, WK5R. All right, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Well, there was somebody way out there, but I could not pull him out. Anybody out there we hadn't talked to yet? Rechecks, whatever, come now. W5MRB. Hello, Bobby, go ahead. Good evening. I thought I'd jump in there and give you an extra count. I'm on a semi boat anchor. It's a Corsair 10 Tech. And I've got a uh, 30L1 back behind it. Uh, inverted V and using a 10 uh, Tech mic. Uh, that's about all I've got running right now. My, my other boat anchors, I got them on the counter over here, uh, working on them, and uh, trying to uh, give them a little bit of CPR, changing out a few caps and stuff to upgrade the caps in them and, uh, and uh, get them tuned back up to where they're working real good. But that's about all i got there. W5MRB. Good hearing you out there, Rusty. All right, Bobby. Appreciate you checking in. <laughs> Sammy would call that tin tag a doorstop. <laughs> Appreciate you checking in there. But it sounds good. We'll catch you next time. All right. Anybody else out there want to check into the uh, boat anchor uh, unlimited net? Come now. Uh, anybody copy that station? Any better than me? Oh, W5SU, I think it is. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, just a, a word with Lynn. Uh, Lynn, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, Lynn, are you there? Yeah, Was that for me? Yes, that's W5SU. That's Carl over there. Yeah, go ahead, Carl. Yeah, just, just a, a quick uh, note. Uh, Lynn, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, Lynn, are Those, and um, he said that he didn't think that particular soldier would work.
work, but I figured what the hell, I'll try it anyway. So uh, I finally got it in last night, and I'll uh, put on the power supply maybe tomorrow and take a shot at it. But uh, it, it was a, uh, an exercise, and uh, uh, just an exercise, let's put it that way. Yeah, okay, Carl, I'll tell you what, the conditions between us are getting kind of shaky. I didn't copy 100%. Uh, you know, you might clarify some things with an email. But I do know that Drake changed what they were doing frequently, and you never know what filter might go where, and mounting them is typically a, a problem. So we'll, we'll, we'll onward through the fog. Over. Okay, I got it in there. Uh, are you good on QRZ? Go ahead. Yeah, uh, K5LYN at ARRL.net. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, we'll, we'll follow up later. Thanks a lot. And uh, really, really appreciate it, man. W5LYN, W5FU. Uh, K5LYN, W5FU. Yeah, it's, it's a real struggle. By the way, I heard you a whole lot better that time. Uh, go back to you, Rusty. Okay, uh, Carl, Lynn. Uh, yeah, Carl's Carl got way down on me, so the band is starting to stretch. Okay, anybody else for the Bonecker's Unlimited come now? KL7 Oscar Foxtrot, go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon. Good evening, Val. The sun's going down. Yeah, good evening. Uh, I'm going to be I copied you 100%, Steve. <laughs> you just took the prize for the furthest away. Well, the Yazoo FT-102, uh, it sounds good all the way from Tom Tom, Washington. Appreciate you checking in. Uh, listen again next week. We'll be here. All right, Roger. Yeah, what, what time do you guys start up? Uh, we started at 7 o'clock tonight. We may shift it back to 6.30. Uh, and I think by next week the time is going to change. Honestly, it's going to change that uh, propagation there, Steve. Uh, anything we can hear. We're mostly in Texas and Louisiana, but we get stations from Florida, Virginia, Nebraska, uh, Missouri, uh, Mississippi, uh, all over the place. Okay, well, you made it out west. Well, that's good. Well, good luck, guys. Thanks for letting me in. Yeah. KL7OF. Okay, Steve, uh, uh, this is WK5R. And we do get some stations out west, too. Uh, Nebraska is kind of west of us, or northwest a little bit, but uh, we have a station in New Mexico. Uh, he's there right now, but he'll be back here uh, in Texas uh, after uh, uh, another week or so, I guess, or, or soon. And then we have one in Arizona that checks in. So you're more than welcome. We'll look for you again. All right. Uh, appreciate you checking in. Who else for the Bowdeckers Unlimited come now? K five B B T. K five. Was that Bravo Bravo Tango or did I get that wrong? That is correct. Hello five Bravo Bravo Tango. Go ahead. All right. Well, I have nothing to report. I just wanted to check in and say hello to everybody. My name is Doug Delta Officer Uniform Golf Doug, located in Central Arkansas in Pulaski County. Between the cities of North Little Rock and Maumel, and I have no oh, traffic. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Well, you gave us another state there. Uh, appreciate you checking in, Doug, and uh, uh, come on back again. Listen to these old rigs there. Okay. Let me see. All right. Who else for the Bow Anchors Unlimited come now? Let me throw one more item in. Go ahead. I don't have an entire boat anchor station right now, but the boat anchor on the air at the moment is this Drake L4B. It is 45 years old, and it works like a brand new one, I'll tell you. That's a good amp, yep. That qualifies you. Get in the door. Well, thank you very much. I'll uh, 
Catch you later, K5BBT. Okay, Doug, appreciate you checking in. Well, I'll look for you later. Anybody else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? 10-0-GVK recheck. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Andrew GVK. I'm on my old Galaxy 5 uh, Mark II here. Just wired up a different mic for it. Uh, I had this old uh, Shure 404 hand mic and uh, wired it up. I just wanted to see how it sounded. Uh, that sounds pretty good, too. I think the other mic might have been a little bit better, but that one uh, works just fine. Okay. I just wanted to check and see that it was doing the job. It seems to be driving it okay. So uh, I just wanted to have an extra one to... Uh, to have on a standby, just in case I needed one. Thanks. Roger, Roger. Appreciate it. All right. I'm going to make one more call, then I'll throw it back to Lynn, then. Uh, anybody else for the Boneacres Unlimited come now? Well, I think I got the longest contact there, Lynn. I guess it's your turn again. Uh, K5LYN, WK5R. Well, Rusty, that's probably because you got the biggest signal. It's a big one down here anyway. And let me tell uh, Kurt right quick, if he's still here, in N0GVK. Uh, Kurt, uh, I'm in Austin, K5LYN. You're stronger now than you were a while ago, and I don't know if that has anything to do with the microphone or just propagation changing. But uh, the band is getting kind of unstable. All right, let's see if there's anybody else out there I can pick up tonight. K5LYN on the cheap and easy SSB from 1956. I'm listening. Uh, was that DOI, maybe? Uh, Kilo Foxtrot 5, Golf Oscar India in Louisiana. Golf Oscar India, yes, sir. This is K5LYN. Lynn and Austin, you're not too strong, but make us a transmission. Yeah, I got the, yeah, the amps are in maintenance mode right now. Uh, talking to you on about half hour on radio. Uh, uh, this is the boat anchor where you're buy, sell, or trade. Yeah, go ahead and talk to us about it. Okay, uh, I, I got lots of stuff, uh, but uh, uh, I had uh, some items. I think there might be some folks uh, interested who'd love to take the really old uh, uh, pieces that, uh, and completely refurbish them. I, I I uh, picked up, uh, I think it's about five. There is, I don't know what you call them. They're, uh, they're a multi tester. They're very, very old multi tester. And they're two testers. Uh, and they, uh, four of them are in wooden uh, uh, suitcases like. The wooden boxes with hinges and the clamp on it. One, one of them is a precision, and uh, the wooden boxes are nice. They'd really be nice if they were refinished. But when I opened up uh, the insides, it, I guess it's uh, I forget what they call that the uh, black uh, shiny material of the internal components with all the buttons and the switches and everything. Uh, they are immaculate. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I just fixed uh, some equipment for uh, a young man, and uh, he uh, donated them all, all to me there. Over. Okay, give us your contact information. Uh, I'm going to have to, it's not too hard for people to reach me on uh, my cell phone. I'm so far back in the woods. Just got the internet back up. So, uh, my, I'm on the QRZ. I will go ahead and uh, give you my email address, but it is on QRZ. It's uh, under uh, Kilo Foxtrot 5 Golf Oscar India. If you're interested, just email me and uh, uh, leave me a contact number. I'll get in touch with you when I can find a, uh, a good enough area to where my phone will work. But, uh, the address, if you want me to uh, uh, spell the whole thing out, it's my first and last name, uh, which is Paul McClary. Uh, and it's Hungarian, not Irish. Uh, and the last part of it is at, at att.net. Uh, do you want me to go ahead and uh, spell out the whole uh, uh, address or just let them look me up on QRZ? 
No, they can look you up on qrc.com. Let's make sure we got the call right. Kilo Foxtrot 5 Golf, Oscar India, right? Thank you for your check-in, and uh, watch your email. Somebody can look you up on qrz.com, KF5GOI. Okay, who else for the net? K5LYN, calling and listening. Whiskey 5, Tango, Lima, Juliet, Terry, and Bangs, Texas. Okay, with a quick question. Okay, I got uh, TLJ, and I got PK. Uh, Terry, talk to us. Okay, the band is changing, Terry, but I am hearing you in Austin. Uh, nice signal, over. Roger. Talk to you later, Dave. 5 TLJ. Okay, thanks for coming by. My neighbor, PK, talk to us, Steve. You already Lynn. Yeah, just a personal observation. I've noticed that uh, everybody else seems to be uh, audible and fully understandable on uh, lower side bands. And then Rusty, I don't know what kind of equipment. Uh, I'm kind of curious what Well, that's an HC-37 uh, that I gave him because the sideband suppression uh, was uh, something that I didn't want to fool with, and uh, <laughs> he doesn't either. Double sideband is still a legal mode. Over. Yeah, you, your observation is correct. Okay, who else for the net? K5LYN calling and listening. Great check, Liam. Uh, who was that? K07 Charlie Delta. Oh, Mike, is that you? Yes, sir. Boy, I'm barely hearing you, Mike. Give it a try. Okay, I hear you real good. I was just wondering, the guy from Hammond, Louisiana, did he say what kind of a rig he was on? No, no, I didn't want to get into it because I could barely hear him. He's probably on a modern rig there, uh, Mike. Okay, Rusty, that's what I figured. Yeah, I'll uh, let me see if I can get the record breaker here. Uh, all right, folks, we need one more check-in. Somebody out there is listening. You haven't said anything to us. You hadn't visited with us, but you've been listening to all these old radios. Uh, why don't you just go ahead? You know you want to say something, so come on down. Uh, check into the Boat Anchors Unlimited. I heard a Whiskey 5, and I didn't catch the suffix. I got him, Jay. W5OMR Mobile. Go ahead, Jeff. Yes, I did. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, you, uh, you 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 topped us off tonight with 40 check-ins. I think that's the most we've ever had. Uh, I'm not absolutely positive about that, but um, I think we I think it is. <laughs> Even though the band's beginning to get beginning to go. So thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. Be safe out there on the highway, and uh, I guess we'll talk to you later. All right. Is there anyone else before 
we tell y'all what my folks you are and, and go about our business. So here, nothing to spend one hour and six minutes, according to my electronic radioactive uh, wall mounted battery powered timepiece. So I have enjoyed this evening very much. Most of it anyway, and um, hope y'all did too. Thank you for checking in. We appreciate y'all. And uh, I'll let Rusty, I'll let you and uh, and Lynn, uh, if you want to say anything else, y'all go ahead. 673 is from KM5 QS. And don't forget my trim range for your college equipment if you need it. Just look me up on QRZ. KM5 QS, and you might be surprised. You can only. All right, Jay. Appreciate it there. You see the WK5R. You want me to go ahead and tie the ribbons on it, Lynn? Yeah, you got uh, you got a good signal. Get a bag to do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll tie the ribbons on it. Okay. Well, I'm I'm not running but about uh, 800 watts right now. Anyway, appreciate all y'all checking in. Uh, we, me and Lynn and Jay and whoever else happens to be helping with the net control, we couldn't do this without y'all, because we know what it takes to keep these old big these old rigs on the radio there on the air. We'll appreciate y'all checking in, and we'll catch you next week. Now, this is FWK5R with the Boat Anchors Unlimited. Now closing your Boat Anchors Unlimited net and return the frequency to normal amateur abuse. And I'm going to switch radio and get these cotton-picking cans off my head. Contact Rusty. Go ahead. Yeah, Rusty, can you can you call uh, Denver there, N50JB, and see if he can hear me or hear you? Okay, N50JB, are you still listening, Denver? I think he's gone, Mike. You might be able to catch him on 3922. Yeah, that's possible. Okay, you don't happen to know I missed what rig he was running. Besides the NCL 2000, what was his main rig? Uh, <clears throat> N5OJB, his name is Denver. know what rig he was on? I don't know. He was on 8.30. Yeah, 8.30. Okay, roger, roger. Alright, I'm going to switch rigs. WK5R, flipping some switches. 